Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Oh, we do get floors. How about that? Uh, another episode of Vulcanoids coming at you. Uh, shotgun turret module. Nice. Uh, I gotta pull my armor out of storage. Okay. I'm still looking for drill bits. Give me that. All of that. Time to armor up. Time to armor up. Cool. Nice. That's gonna last a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. No, don't shut the thing. Whoops. Uh, I'm playing a round of Vulcanoids with every single thing set to maximum about. I don't want those in my inventory. I don't want that in my inventory. I don't need that in my inventory. I want these in my inventory, though. What I did is I set the spawn rate, reinforcement rate, resource rate, all the way to maximum. I wanted to see what would happen. And we're going to get a real taste of that coming up real soon here. But throughout this, oh, I've also given myself some pretty serious damage resistance. And given the enemy some damage weaknesses. So this isn't going to be crazy one-sided. I'll actually have a fighting chance. What I'm thinking is once the cogs get to sniping tech and their turrets are firing mortars at me, this is going to be a bit more of a difficult conversation to have. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a bit of a bit of a bit of an issue. So let's see what we can do here. Yeah. Let's see what we can do here with this uh, production ship over here. I'm hoping to walk away with some T2 drill bits. Uh, maybe some just Tech 2 stuff in general. That would be cool. Oh, I don't have any healing. Uh, we'll steal some. The weird thing is, for whatever reason, the enemy, these cogs, have... He Holy crap. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, that's a blast. Oh, that's so good. Look at them over there. Do you see that? There's there's dozens of them, dude. That's insane. We're avoiding. How many do I have? 18? Okay. That's probably enough for me to take out. I really just need to take out the top tier of the drill ship. The rest I can do with a uh, pickaxe. Cool. And there's my way in. Yep. Trying to see if I can box him in a little bit. There we go. Have him enter the drill ship and then I just clean their clocks, yeah? I keep thinking they're saying Totoro or something. It's just a weird thing to hear. Anyway. Thunk. Yeah, I think I got most of them now. That goes away. And this goes away. That's T2. I'll take that. Cool. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. No other storage around here. I already picked it clean. I have four more grenades, three more grenades. Where's the last module? Did I lose it? Where's that last module? Oh, okay. Guess what? Happy birthday, stupid. There you are. No. What? Oh, no! <laughs> it's supposed to make a noise. It's supposed to go, Aruga! Aru! When before it goes down, it didn't make that noise. Oh, I blame the game. That sucks. Whatever. Let's move on with our lives. Chugga chugga. No one cares. Chugga 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 chugga. No one cares. Alright. Hot jams. Ship is destroyed. With it, all the cogs should also be destroyed. I hope. Yeah, can you imagine all those dookies 
with oh all the bodies disappeared too sad um can you imagine all those jerk waffles with sniper rifles or stuff that sucks okay so these were I'm still hearing you guys should be dead Oh, my backpack had my insignia on it, too. Thunk. Get thunk, sucker. Do I have enough inventory for this? Okay, cool. What I don't want is to mine a bunch of this equipment, and then it's like, oh, you don't have any space in your backpack. It's like, were you going to tell me that, or just drop it on the floor? Oh, you were just going to not let me know about that and just lose it, lose it forever? Because, man, if I have to raid another ship just to get that one component... Okay, drill, hull, track... I don't need builders' heads ever. I don't need that ever. Cool, got some converters. All right, so that worked out incredibly well, except for the me dying part. But I got the stuff I needed. Ta ta da! Huh, must be just me, but that rock looks really weird. Like, really weird. Look at our little guy, just chugging away. Just getting at it, son. And while we were doing stuff, our drill ship was staying very, very busy, I'm sure of it. Oh yeah, look at all that iron. Oh, good stuff. Okay, you can have that. I don't need all this turret ammo. Let's get the coal. I don't need stats. Put that in there for reasons I'm sure I'll need. Um, converters, I'll take the grenades, I don't need five copies of this, okay, feels good, looks good, okay, where are we at now, you're still making grenades, still making iron, we're maxed on schematic. Uh, upgrades. 10 alloy T1 to Intel refinery T1. Okay. Well, whatever. I need, I need the stuff. I need 10 T1 ingots. There we go. What are you missing, buddy? Bolts? It's kind of weird that it says drill ship storage not available. Oh, drill ship storage items not available. Okay. So the item just doesn't exist is what it's really saying. Okay, now we need tubes. Finery still working on. Um, how much black powder do we have? I really don't need this much ammunition. Like, at all? Uh, I guess, can you make me another chest? Or I have a chest somewhere, don't I? Doing it my way. Uh, nope on a rope. I never use whatever these are. Hang on to that because I might need it. I never am going to need the radio because the tutorial's disabled and jerk face McGillicuddy's not going to help me anyway. That stack's there. Okay, that looks cleaner to me. I like that. Oh! What are you waiting on? Oh, uh, drill step, wait, storage is not full, there's six slots. What?
What? <laughs> oh, it's working on it now. Weird. Um, any more black powder? Yeah, go to town on that, buddy. Black powder means more sulfur. It's easy in this game to really feel like you're claustrophobic. Like, a lot. Like, a lot of the time. Because of how much you want to do and how many modules you want and everything. I wonder if... Oh, yep, that's exactly what I was waiting for. Ooh! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, so the settings are... How much damage the cogs receive and how much I receive, but not how much damage the cogs deal. So they still deal full damage on the drill on the drill ship. That could be problematic if I'm not careful. Like in a big, big, big way. That could be a problem. Uh any other research we need to knock out? I got this T2 stuff on me. I don't need that many pumps. I think I can get through this game with just 10 pumps, probably. Kick me out into some T2, my dude. I'm gonna have way more T2 production or refinery tech before I have enough tech one to do anything with it, but whatever. All right, this drill is the first step that we need to get to the next area and crystals. I'm really looking forward to the next level of our basic structures here. Uh, there's going to be a device called... Oh, what is it called? Is it like a hub? I think it's a hub. So there's a production hub, a refinery hub, a research hub, and a scrap hub. And those are god-tier level structures. Those are so good. What you'll do is you'll put, like... If you've ever played Factorio, it, it acts like a logistics network. You can say, I want X amount of items to be made at all times. If we don't have enough stuff make the stuff and you give you can give like blanket orders like that and the game will just be like okay i have to make more stuff and it'll just go about its way and it'll produce stuff you might be asking well like well john what if i put like a high level thing and i don't have enough stuff well that's the magic of it you can keep in putting in orders for really basic stuff and you'll always have like plates and bolts and tubes on hand it's really it's really slick it's slick slick. Like, that's how slick it is. It's so slick, I'll say it twice. Okay, but armor, grenades... That's all just gonna hammer out. Uh, do I have enough black powder coming in? I'm going to need a lot of grenades. I'm not joking. Uh, I'm glad we're doing so well so far, but I'm very much under the impression this is going to turn completely on its ass in little to no time. I'm not going to use Buckshot. Uh, I'm going to stick with a pistol, and then I'm going to get to the the Bombardier Hand Cannon? Question mark? Thing I'm going to do? I'm going to get to that. Then that's it. It's the only weapon I'm going to use. I love the sound of this game. It's very melodic. Good chug, good chug, good chug, good chug, good chug, good chug. Sound of production. Alright, once this drill is ready, we are going to move on. Give me that. That goes right there. Oh! This already came with modified tracks? What? Did I already... I didn't... Wait. I didn't make modified tracks. 
I can't even make modified track. That's awesome sauce. Okay. <laughs> All right. Not going to hear me complaining about literally anything. All right, let's go. We need crystals for upgrades. I'm going to have plenty of stuff to do sitting on my duff doing stuff. But right now, yeah, this how the, whoa, how the game eerily just tilts on its butt. Let's do a quick save here. Having a lot of power issues lately in my area. A lot of electrical issues for one reason or another. Uh, so I know autosave happens, but in my personal opinion, autosaves are not backups. Just take your take a second, do a proper backup with a save. It's good, right? Like, I can't tell you, like when checking forums, I can't tell you how many times I've come across people uh, either in Reddit or like whatever being like, well, I was playing a game and it said it auto-saved, and then I loaded up a new game and it said it auto-saved. Where's the other saves? And it's like, there are no other saves? There's like one auto-save slot, dude. Like, what's what's the confusion? It's like, if you want to save something, put some effort behind it and save it. Don't assume a game is going to save anything. Oh. High flowing lava. Okay, right. Um... I kind of forgot how this part of the game worked because I had the tutorial on but what I'm guessing is there's going to be some area I can go to and in it is going to have the laser drill that I have to fight all boss style I don't legitimately know where that is uh, yeah grab the coal Yeah, I find a game like this a lot more relaxing, even though we're kind of squeezing the resources, like I said. The bigger thing is, to me, it, it just makes the game so much easier. Alright, maybe it's this way, because... Devil's Roar. Oh, okay, cool. Yep, easy. Boop. Um, I'm not going to have time to do much, but it's going to give me about two minutes, two and a half minutes or so, for me to make more grenades. What I'll do is I'll personally go out. Oh, they're already up there. You hear that? Oh yeah, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck a lot. Are they just giving chase? Uh, no, it's like one dude, it's fine. Yeah? Holy crap! Oh yeah. This is where this gets nuts. Uh, the heads are probably gonna have nothing I want. Okay. Storage full. Let's check that out real quick. Let's peel some grenades. Let's see if I can make a bang here. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take all that. Uh, I'll take two of that, I guess. Whatever. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Dumbass. Ah, oh, did it submerge? Ah, alright, that's fair. But that's whack. But that's still whack. <laughs> Bullets. All the tech I don't care about. But what can sometimes happen is some of the... Yeah, the green guys. I need more of the green guys... Their converters and their skulls. It sounded like a 40k reference or something like blood for the blood god, skull for the skull throne. <laughs> All right. Uh, give it another minute. Oh, that's what I wanted. I 
think it honestly only takes a couple of seconds before we're clear. So I think we're clear there. When there's no more cinematic camera. Or when I'm just not producing any more pollution up top. The sirens go off when you're at a certain amount of time remaining, but what also happen is when they'll stop. Is this a pump? I don't need pumps. Are you a builder? I don't need builder heads. Um, it'll stop when you're underground. Okay, I don't need modified. Ooh, let's not equip that. Uh, sulfur powder. Sure, scrap that up. I'm um, running low on sulfur powder anyway, so that puts that to good use. Oh, what was I saying? Crap, I keep interrupting myself because there's so much I want to talk about. Uh, the sirens go off at like the minute mark, minute and a half, two minute mark, some, something around there. I never really pay attention. Uh, but they stop going off when you're successfully underground. There. I think I said the whole thing. Everything 100%? Yeah, I would have to be a lot more careful with my drill ship, for sure. That many idiots in that amount of time makes it that much more incredibly dangerous. Well. Landing site blocked by drill sh Are you You're serious. Okay. Is there another landing spot for me to go? Oh, for sure. Yoink. Easy cheesy. It's like a weird carnival ride, isn't it? Whoa. Oh, uh, what's cool is when we get more segments. Oh, I could do this right now? And copper plates. I know I can shift click, but I don't care. Come on. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yeah, gotta go. I have to absolutely just get him and go. Yeah, I can't do anything about that right now, right, buddy? Um, as you saw a moment ago, this gets stupid fast. It's a lot of idiots in low, low amounts of time. So I got a motor. Am I hitting it? Hell yeah. Right about there? A little higher? Cool. Hey, if that saves me from going all the way down there, I am all for it. Okay, I got a boogie boogie. You have to just go around. So, what's the strat? The cogs can do their normal amount of damage, even though they are made out of paper mache danium, uh, the weakest of armors. The thing is, <laughs> they, yeah, they can still do all their normal attack damage, so I might have to just submerge the boat. The drill, the drill dozer, the drill rig. I'm just going to give it different names all the time. That's some molten ass coal right there. I'm going to put this in the middle so I get the most amount of kabang bang. There we go. Cool. All right, so this has... Uh, can I summon you over here? Hmm, that would be cool. Now, uh, let's see how far I can get first. 
I have five grenades, which should be enough to finish off the drill. See, everything is drill, though. There's drill rigs. This is a volcano drill. There's a laser drill. There's... <laughs> Holy crap. All right, I'm gonna have to use one of these. Berserker mode activated. Form of a pickaxe. Good time, autosave. Yep, can't wait to auto load that and wonder why the hell I'm in the middle of battle. Uh, that ammunition was nice. I was actually running low on pistol. That worked out pretty well. Now one thing that you can do with this whole lava laser thing is you can actually just submerge your ship. I don't have enough stuff for this. Oh, uh, this is a suicide ride. You can submerge your ship, wait until the volcano hits, and then uncover it at a different spawn location. Cool. And two more. Oh yeah, we got we got time. We're good. We got this. Yup. And the coup de gras. Awesome. Sorry for the leg there. But this is now a primo harvesting opportunity. Destroying the drill shuts down all the cogs in the area. So the drill. From what I understand, if we're going to try to build any lore into this, because I don't think I... I think I saw the initial video. I think I was drunk. I don't remember. <laughs> but one of the things... Yeah, this is laggy. There's just so many assets. Um, the drill is actually acting as a fuel catalyst for the cogs. So when we destroy the drill, all the cogs in the area just shut down. That's it. Now, if we go back to the very top, the very surface, I don't know if the cogs are still there. I don't know if they are in, like, an area. There's three of these drills, I think. And then there's a final, final drill, laser drill, like we just demolished. After you take down that guy, then you win? Question mark? Find out. Stay tuned. We'll find out. Oh, my game is still... I don't know if you're feeling it, but I'm feeling it. It still feels a little sketch. Okay, I don't need all this healing. I'd like five healing majigs on me. That'd be great. I don't need that. Burnt. Let's peel off some of that. And... Ooh, I'll take that. Uh, okay, copper's being made as we speak. I don't see any copper ore here unless I'm really getting tired. I see this, I see the scrap metal. But that's okay, we're actually sitting on a nice little abundance of stuff. So I'm not, not hurting for resources at all. Not at all. Stash Aruni, all that Aruni. Okay. Looking good. We're making some really good progress. We're in episode, what, two right now? It feels like we've been playing for a while, but without having to, like, sit down and explain stuff, it's been grand. I've just been going with the flow. Uh, I'm still actually a little terrified that my little drill ship is going to get murked, like, badly. I still don't have Tech 2 stuff, which is funny. Uh, oh, I need crystals. Right. Right, right, right. Well, let's go. Ah. Uh -huh. Let's go. That's better. Yeah, good progress, good stuff. Yeah, I'm noticing now there is no real music. There's enough ambient noise that makes it kind of sound like music. Like the drill dozer. I keep calling it a drill dozer now. Um... <laughs> drill rig. Not the drill rig, you know, makes enough noise in the background with the engines churning, the smelt-a-majig going on. You know, there's enough, there's enough just noise going on. 
So it kind of feels like there's music, but it's not really like music music, you know? Ooh, that was close. That was close. Okay. Over here. Ooh, a tech three. Yeah, I am not touching that. I'll take this. Okay, no, I'm not going through that. I'm very confident I could find some gems or crystals or whatever somewhere else. Yeah, that's what I figured was gonna happen. Titanium gonna be a pretty darn important resource for us. And already full again, that's fine. Ah, crystals. Raw crystals! Oh, right. I completely forgot. Oh, while we're underground, hold on. Hi. Can you... That? Wait. Am I not underground? What? What? Drill ship segments can only be installed underground. I am underground, you fool. I'm completely in the underground. Okay, maybe a weird bug or something. Like, you can't, you can't install it when you're deployed, really, is the point it's trying to make. That loads me up real nice. Let's see. Let's. Oh, boilers? Yeah, boilers. Awesome. Tech 2 drills, I already have. Okay, I've got so much raw stuff, it's gonna take me a year and a half to get this all smelted, which is great. Yeah, keep the, keep the recycler, keep the scrapper, keep the refiner, keep the smelter, keep all that busy, busy. No, 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 no. Okay, that. Almost was incredibly dangerous. Is this another little... Hey, another little hidey hole. Look at that. Alright. Guess what? No, I want to talk to you. Uh, trying to... Trying to... Hello? Okay, you know what? Uh, I can't... I just can't talk this stuff while it's tripping. Okay, there we go. I have... Titanium on B... But not the means to... Okay, can I... I can't install it now. Yeah. Can it only be installed underground? Yeah, I got I got that. I was the underground. Maybe I couldn't have been moving or something. Okay, that's all done. What else do I have to do here? Oh, I'd love another chest. And... And crystal. Oh, that's right. All the crystals on me. So one, two, three, four. Start with that. Boop. This will take ten back. Thanks. Uh, for raw materials, I'm just gonna keep them down here. Cool. Oh, uh, I'll sw switcheroo. I can't do a freaking thing with this titanium anyway. Uh, this is going to get... Upst, and then new tiers of everything. Yeah, we're motoring through this pretty freaking quick. I'm really happy with that. Uh, give me a stack of that. Take a stack of that. Things are really forming into a true delight. Yep, and those crystals just got sucked into the system. So one of the things we could do, as a bit of like a, an idea, one of the things that we could do is we could easily only use our ship as a transportation mechanism. Meaning, when we get to our destination, immediately tell it to submerge again. It's doable, 
easily. If you die, you spawn on your ship. You, you kind of lose your gear until you can go get it again. Obviously. But the thing that makes it really work is we don't have to worry about defenses then. Which is super cool. Uh, do that. We already have enough crystals to start production. Yep, it's doing it. It's doing it. Uh, any resources here I give a shoot about? A lot of titanium. Might as well pop that. Titanium will grant us a lot of tools and bits we'll need. But the more important things that I care about is titanium is going to grant us another level of armor. Which again sounds a little benign because I'm taking so little damage, but once you get enough snipers and based on probability, those snipers are pulling headshots or whatever. The reality of the situation is I'm going to take a crap ton of damage regardless. Regardless if I had no armor, all the armor, pants armor, whatever. Um, it would get dice. It would get a little bit of dice. So I want to make sure that we are going into battle with the very best of everything because healing is going to be a chore. How much of that do I have? So, not only armor, but yeah, there's a lot of bips and bops that require some amount of titanium. And you might be asking yourself, why am I moving? Well, I moved because I played Engineer in Team Fortress 2. And while you're building up your dispenser or your turret, if you're just standing here wailing at it with your wrench trying to get it built, you're a perfect, perfect, perfect target for an enemy sniper or an enemy spy or a soldier who's just going to chuck a rocket downfield and hope it connects, you know? Like... It really keeps you open. So just moving. Just even simple, just strafing around an object like this. It's really good practice to kind of get your head in sync. But like doing something like this, you're still interacting with that object. But any amount of movement is going to make you harder to hit. Right? Good stuff. Like a duck now. Okay, this thing's still chugging. That's still a chugging. Once that's done and the upgrade gets put in, I'm going to want my Extendo. Extenderino. He'll be able to do something about more stuff. Everyone happy? Everyone good? Repair check? Ooh. What was that? Oh, the ladder. Okay. We're all good? Alright. Gotta be real, real careful. Stuff that might not be obvious. <laughs> you gotta check and make sure that it's okay, because when it's busted, it's gonna be pretty freaking obvious. Yeah. Pretty dang dang gotta get it done. Uh, this part takes so long, but it's worth it. What do you need? More bolts? Alright, take another 15 bolts. If you give me the hubs, I'm gonna be so stupid happy. I think you'll just pop right in, won't you? Oh yeah. Schematics for built-in production technology of tier 2. Haha! -ha! Okay. Module time. Yep. All the modules. Better power plants. Better storage. Um, I'm really looking forward to this, production tier 2, and refining tier 2 and all that fun crap. But what do you need? 2, 3, refinery, T2. Great. Intel research, T2. I don't have any T2 of that, so that's dumb. Intel refinery, T2, okay. Yep. Gonna get a whole lot of these modules wrapped up real quick. Which is going to be astounding. Uh, how are we on sulfur? We're good. We've been making do with uh, not a lot of storage. It's been working out pretty well for us, I think. And I wish this sort option paid a bit more attention, but that's okay. Uh, we can do all of that.
Oh, I'm not going to have enough for all three, am I? Oh, yeah, I am. Perfect. Easy peasy. Now, do we have our hubs? Um, yes, hubs right here. Awesome. I need production tier two. Okay, so everything's really relying on me getting this caboose segment installed and go from there. Yeah, underground, right, 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 right. What else do we have? Titanium and more coal. Yeah, that's a good idea, autosave. Do a quick save, my sale. Let's uh, do a little drugs. The thing that's really weird about this item is it takes two copper tubes to make. Even though I look human, I'd have to assume I'm some sort of biomechanical if just copper tubes is what works, right? It's literally just copper tubes. Yeah, two copper tubes. I'd love to see like a very simple herbalistic aspect where you have to go harvest the plants and it's plant-based metabolized glucose or something. Just, just something like that would be cool, I think. It just seems weird that copper plus copper equals medical kit. Copper, I get the first copper tube for the outside, right? Med kit, yeah. The first copper tube on the outside. Now, the observation I made earlier that the med kits are less effective with the whole damage reduction thing, I wonder if the enemies do the same damage, but it just multiplies my hit points, which would be even funnier because that's not how it sounded. But whatever. It's fine. And we should have four refinery twos in there, and that should knock that out easy. Yeah, it's pretty quick. The schematics are easier to make than the actual item itself. Oh, I need Intel, another tier two. There we go. Did I make a bunch of tier ones on accident? Gosh, I must be sleepy. That goes there. I want to get that all done and good. And then I think I'll call this an episode. That's still like another eight minutes or so away, so don't you fret. But that gave us... What did that give us? Ah, mortar grenades. And that means hand mortars. Awesome. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, yeah, we're going to be spending a lot of time next episode refurbishing up the base. I've got a lot of modules I need to build. I've got... The... what are they called? Modules are what go on the ship. Devices. I have these hubs I want to crank out. Actually, can I crank them out now? Uh, no, not yet, because I need the production tier. But that... these things are so, so good. We're going to set up maybe three of these hub productions, and what we'll do is we'll set it to automatically craft out the lower end stuff. The, I think there's three or four items that go across all items, so it's, I mean, all like minerals, so it's bolts, tubes, plates, casings. But the three that are the most common are right here. So we have iron bolts, iron tubes, iron plates. There's going to be the exact same stanza with titanium, and that's going to be great. So we'll automate all that cheap crap, and what that's going to do is anytime I want to order something big, look, let's sit here. Let's just pop an example. Let's say I want a, uh, armor. All I have to do is just click how many I want because the tubes, the bolts, and the plates are already done. I don't have to care how many is in stock. I just put in the order, let's say for 10 of them. Some ridiculous number. I want 10 iron armor kits. It'll go through and it'll say, okay, I'm going to spend out everything I have. And the hub is going to manage all the production after that. Anything that's needed because I already have everything in the hub. But that's more for next episode. It's going to be great. Let's see if we can attach ourselves now. I'm going to go down. We got a little bit of time to burn on this. I could easily just do that off camera. But what I do want is this to happen. So we're going to wait till we're completely underground. And here we are. There we go. Okay. So now, if I turn around, new segment, huh? Smexy Smexy, am I right? Yeah. 
Uh, that gives us a whole, uh, it's nine more segments, or nine more module slots. Three on each side, and then three on the top. So yeah, three, three, and three. Works out real well. And that's going to be a perfect spot for me to get a bunch of Tech 2 stuff really wrapped up. Yeah, once that gets built, and once this gets done, and da 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 just, there's a lot I want to do. Um, so I need a production module tier 2. Iron plates, iron bolts, two hydraulics. I'm very confident I've got some hydraulics somewhere. Yep, four of them. Awesome. Just stack that. Yeah, did I just free up a bunch of inventory space just by stacking? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Alright, I don't need any more of that. Ten of each research item is more than enough. I feel, anyway. Okay. Uh, I need a vat. Six iron plates, six iron bolts, two hydraulics. And that is shaking. We're safe, though, right? Yeah, we good. We good. <laughs> Starting to scare me a little bit there. Uh, I don't need storage module tier two, I don't think. Um, I wouldn't mind a better power plant. Uh, better power plants help with better fuel efficiency. And also reduce how many core points you're using. Do the same thing. That's kind of the advantage to that. Um, I'm just trying to think out loud here. What else am I like truly missing? Let's do that. I need four iron plates. No, I just want one of those. I want one of these. Oh, uh, won't let me even select it. Okay, that's sad. Anyway, back up to it. Let's call it an episode here. We've got a lot of crafting to do, but I also have a lot I want to talk about. How to, okay, autosave, right? <laughs> just janked up the whole thing. Uh, yeah, we're episode two. We're moving along quite nicely. Moving real, real quick. This uh, challenge has been an interesting bit of uh, philosophy, I guess. <laughs> Don't know if uh, this is too easy or too whatever, but this is going to get dangerous on the quick fast, I'm sure, especially with later levels and we're fighting two drill ships at once. Oof, kind of not looking forward to that, but also crazy looking forward to that. So thank you all for joining me. Name's John Megacycle. Another episode of... Uh, Vulcanoids. <laughs> I was going to say Factorio. Holy crap. Another episode of Vulcanoids in the books, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and game with my crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.